so, so that was the negative side of things, right? Uh, if you're going down and you don't follow the fitrah. The other side of things is that you actually, what you have to do is that you have to uh, seek guidance. The chapter of the Quran that we recite at least 43 times a day, Surah Fatiha, in that we seek guidance for, from Allah, Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim, and we seek guidance for uh, helping us going on the straight path, right? So that, and then what Allah prescribes is to make thawbah, means to repent, turn around. So if you're going in the, in the wrong direction, all that you have to do is turn around. So this is negative direction, and you have to turn around. What, what Allah says, فَفِرُّ إِلَى Allah means you start fleeing towards Allah. This is a migration towards Allah. And that migration towards Allah will help you reach the, uh, the, uh, the goal, the, the, the ultimate success. So the Quran says, flee unto Allah. This migration is an obligatory Islamic duty on everyone at all times. The migration is of two types, physical migration of the body and spiritual migration, or migration of the heart to Allah. This is the only true hidra or migration. It must precede physical hidra, which is its natural outcome. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, A true migrator is the one who abandons what Allah has prohibited. In this journey to Allah, Begins with tawbah, right? That means repentance. And Allah clearly says that those who don't repent, like those who are, who are neck deep in this negativity, Allah says, وَمَنْ لَمْ يَتُبْ Allah calls them a wrongdoer zalimun, right? And then on the opposite end, those who وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَأَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ So if you, so, so Allah says, repent to Allah, and those who repent to Allah, they, لَأَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ They are the ones who are successful, right? So success begins, this is the first step towards success. So you have to make Tawbah to be among the Muflihun, right? So that's the first step. The next step is uh, fear of Allah. So you, you repent and you uh, seek guidance and then you have uh, the fear of Allah in your heart. And the fear of Allah means that you, 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 you take care of all these things, right? So there are things which are further means obligatory, which we have to do, which are good for us. And there's a whole range, and on the other end, there are haram, right? The things that we don't have to do, right? As, as per the Quranic guidance. So, so we, are, we are afraid of Allah, right? We are fearful of Allah, but that fear is just a tool. That's not the objective, right? And the tool for, for keeping ourselves on the right path and uh, avoiding what is haram and doing what is halal. Allah says, وَإِيَّايَا Farhabun, uh, me alone you should fear. So the thing is that if you have fear, that fear should be only of? Of Allah. Of your Creator. And why is that important? If you have fear of, of if you have other fears in life, fear of whomever, then what happens? Then you treat them like uh, as if they're Allah. And then you do what? You follow them. Right? You p try to please them, right? And the moment you try to, the moment you start pleasing them, these are not your priorities then, right? This is not your priority then. Then whomever you're afraid of, then, then that authority or that figure, that person or that group, right? They become, uh, they become your Lord in the sense that you're pleasing them, right? You're following them. Right, so that's what fear is. Uh, the fear is important in that sense. And then uh, at another place, the Quran says, "Fala taqshon nasa, fa akshuni." Don't fear, don't fear, don't fear people. Fear me. And then again, uh, a, a, a good description by uh, uh, Ibn Al Qayyim. He says that a moment and true believer's heart is like a, like a like a bird. The heart on its journey towards Allah is like that of a bird. Love is its head, and fear and hope are its two wings. When the head is healthy, 
then the two wings will fly well. When the head is cut off, the bird will die. When either of two wings is damaged, the bird becomes vulnerable to every hunter and predator. So then moving in again on in, in, in this uh, journey towards Allah, this migration towards Allah, uh, you reach a stage which is called Firasa. And that Firasa is actually intuition or uh, enlightenment that you get uh, because of the guidance from Allah, right? Uh, 